day, my hair will not look like I don't brush it on YouTube. One day. Today was not the day. Okay. Anyway, hi guys, my name is Stephanie and I'm a blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. I usually blog about beauty and make YouTube videos here on beauty products, but occasionally you'll find some mom stuff and some fashion related stuff on either my blog or my channel here. So today we are doing uh, beauty related things and it's about makeup storage, makeup traveling solutions, and that leads me to today's topic, which is makeup junkie bags. Here is one that I own currently. And I was introduced to this brand by a friend of mine from college. She was in my sorority. She was my sorority big sister. Her name is Andrea. She has a online and in her home boutique. The website to shop her clothes, accessories, and merchandise, things like that is Three Loves Co. I will put it down here on the screen. She is just such a boss babe. I love supporting other women in their business adventures which is why you will find me talking about this particular makeup brand and my, uh, I'm gonna call her my big, cause that's what I call her, um, my big's store. So just a little background on my big. Like I said, her name is Andrea. She went to college to be a teacher and a principal, but she ended up having three boys, pretty back to back, kept her really busy. She took a few years off from teaching and really wanted to stay home and enjoy these young years with her kids and still tried to stay active and having like a little side hustle going on. So she started this online boutique and has this adorable boutique in her home. She picks the greatest stuff. She really is looking to find like the perfect um, young, cool mom style at affordable prices. So I just love the things that she's picked out. She's always been great at picking out cute fashion things. So I'm not surprised this is something she's gotten into. Um, but she introduced me to this makeup junkie brand and she's carrying them in her shop right now. She's one of about 2000 retailers across the country that sells them. They go like hotcakes. You find these things like they, they're made in a very limited stock. So the fact that she's selling them is awesome because then you can't find them very many places. They sell out so quickly. So to give you a little um, background on the actual makeup junkie brand, again, it's made by a womanpreneur. I don't know if she's a mom, but she was like a, I think she was a speech therapist, but she was like a makeup junkie like many of us. She would go to work wearing like full glam makeup every day. People would kind of make silly jokes at her or whatever. Um, but she eventually just said, you know what, my passion is beauty, and she decided that she was going to make the perfect makeup bag. Now, a lot of us might carry our makeup in something that looks like this, like a little pouch with a zipper, or maybe when you travel, you're bringing one of these, um, or maybe you just have it like thrown across your countertop, who knows? But um, she just really wanted to make a makeup bag that would fit her palettes and her products without making a mess. And like things like this might be a nice size, but the problem is they get to the bottom, it's hard to dig out of when they travel, they're, they don't store flat. So it's kind of like, everything just kind of goes like this, right? Like this is what the bag ends up looking like. And then it takes up a lot more space than you want it to, especially if you're traveling or you bring it to work with you because you're out for a long time during the day. Um, similar problem with these. Not so much that they get wide, but everything's kind of stuck in them in a very weird way where it's hard to access things. It's just like you're digging one thing out and then five things fly out beside it. And it's just not very user-friendly, clean, and it doesn't save you a lot of time when you're looking for things in the morning. So um, that was kind of the idea behind why the founder of the Makeup Junkie Bags created the bag the way she does. Now, I have this large one. It's the biggest one they make. She makes four sizes, and I will insert a photo here of the different sizes and how they look. Again, I am showing you guys the biggest one here because I myself am a makeup junkie. So um, I'm going to show you how much I can really fit in this giant one, and then you obviously can scale down if you are interested in purchasing one based on the other sizes that she makes. The cool thing about these is not only are they unique because she hand makes these in her home or at her um, facility, I guess, in Texas. She's from outside of Houston, which is ironic because I was living there for a few years. That's where my husband's from. So she started this business out of her kitchen. Um, she's since grown a lot. She was recently on Shark Tank, really cool. Uh, the bag has this zipper here in the middle for that very reason we were talking about where things get stuck at the bottom of the bag and then they don't lay flat, the bag ends up widening like that and then everything is just like, it's not space efficient. Where 
whereas this, because she has the zipper in the middle, you can lay your palettes and things flat, and then when you close it up, even if it is higher, it's still going to be flatter, which is easier to travel with. It takes up less room in even your work bag. Um, and also the bags are machine washable and she made the inside like with this uh, easy to clean water resistant. I, I think she might say waterproof, but I'm going to say water resistant uh, liner. So for those of us who find that our powders break and our foundations might crack open or leak, this is easy to clean and you don't end up with a bag that looks very similar to the inside of one of my very well used bags where it's like covered with makeup on the inside. It's so gross. I like don't even want to show you guys, but this is real life. I'm sure a lot of your bags look like this. Um, and they're just, even when you wash them, it doesn't come out. So she's really thought about everything when it comes to a makeup junkies, perfect makeup bags. But anyway, she also is now making man bags. So if your husband has like a dock kit that's kind of gross and like just really bulky and he travels a lot, a man bag in this brand might be really awesome. The last cool thing I wanted to point out just as like a fun touch are the little tassels she has on them. Um, they are detachable. You don't have to keep it on, but she also has like wrist cuffs. So you don't have to use this as a makeup bag. Like I said, this one's pretty big, um, but it, the smaller ones you can totally use as like a clutch to go out with. You can use them for beach and pool trips. It's really convenient, especially if you are a mom and have kids that you have to carry around like wet clothes or dirty clothes. This is nice and waterproof, so you can just keep it in here and it won't ruin all the other stuff in your diaper bag. So I really think that these are multifunctional. Um, before I get into stuffing them, I do want to say I'm not um, ignorant to the fact that these are pricey bags. So this is not the price point you're going to find at Target. It's not going to be at Forever 21. It's not going to be at the drugstore. These are really pricey, but you're paying for the design. One, number one, the fact that these are handmade and they're all very unique. But I really think that once you see the functionality of it, you might be able to justify just overall making your life a little easier because you're saving not just space, but time in the morning when you're getting ready. Okay, um, I want to just start by showing you what my everyday makeup, my normal mom makeup looks like, which is very scaled down. And then we will build up and I want to show you what the bag looks like as we go. Let's start with base. So I have been using... See what I mean? I'm digging. So for reference, I'm digging in my dirty makeup bag that I haven't used. I haven't used this one yet because I want to keep it pretty. Um, but I'm digging to find my stupid foundation right now. And it's so annoying because if I could just go like this and open the whole thing, I could see it real fast. So here we are. This is a perfect example of why it's annoying the way the makeup bags now are made. So anyway, this is my hourglass stick foundation. It's my go-to. I will link my mom makeup here. And it's going to be pretty much everything I'm going to be putting in this bag. It's not going to be a lot of stuff, so there's going to be plenty of room in this bag. So, foundation. Okay. Then I usually do a very light dusting of some kind of pressed powder. So here's my Glow Skin Beauty pressed powder. Then I will go in with some um, highlighter on my eye, like eyeshadow, and then on the high points of my face. I have my highlighter here. This is, I switch this out all the time for what it's worth. This is my Ofra one in Everglow. It's from the Nikki Tutorials. It's the old packaging. Um, then I will go in with bronzer. I am using the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer and Bronze right now from the um, last year Beached collection. Then I have blush. I am using Beauty Counter Blush and Nectar. Really gorgeous. Love this blush. Um, I also use it on the eyes. Then I will go in with, is that my face? Yes. Um, mascara on my eyes. And then I will do my brows, which is my Benefit Gimme Brow with my Benefit Brow Pencil. And... Oh, my lips. Okay. And then I have... Um, this is my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I'm obsessed with. That was my everyday face. And, like, the bag is still so flat. Everything's in here. It's crazy. So for like here, I'll show you. So it all just fell down to the bottom now. So even at its widest right now, that's that's the thickness of all those products. And then when you open it, yeah, here it is all down here, nice and easy to see. It's gonna fall out because that's how easy it is if you just laid it out right in front of you. So yeah, this is the footage I'm inserting right here to show you how everything looks flat. Right in front of me as I'm shooting, here's the camera, all the stuff. So yeah, that's how it looks with just the everyday face. 
let's build upon this, shall we? So when I feel like being a little fancier and having a little more makeup on my face, then I might go in with the concealer. So I have my Tarte Shape Tape here. Love this. It covers everything in under the sun. Um, I will then go in with an eyeshadow palette, just a small quad. This is a very fancy Tom Ford quad. I've been using this a lot lately. It's actually what I'm wearing today. It's the Nude Dip Quad. This palette is dumb, dumbly expensive, I will tell you right now. It's $88 for four eyeshadows. They're huge, but you know what? They've also cracked on me and fallen out, like the entire color. So do I think the colors, the palette is worth it? Absolutely not, but I'm using it. So anyway, this is a small eyeshadow palette. We're gonna put it in here. Um, oh, I forgot to mention this. I'm sorry guys. So I do all always set my face with the Hourglass Luminous Light Palette. I mean powder, beautiful. It's just like a finishing powder. It gives your skin the prettiest subtle radiance. Love this so much. Oh yeah, let's try a liquid liner. Here's some eyeliners. Why don't we put both of them? So if I am feeling fancy, I will put on liquid liner on the top and then a pencil liner on the lower lash line. We'll put both of those in there. Why not? Okay. So I guess that would be my full face then. Now we haven't gotten to brush this yet, right? So let me just show you what this looks like now with all those other products in it. So again, it still looks basically the same. Like the thickness has not, my camera is like not focusing, but it's got so much space in it still. It's so crazy. I will then, again, drop it down to the bottom we're still dealing with so much room compared to this. Like, how can I be straight? There you go. This is saving so much space. Wow, okay. Let's add more. Let's do some brushes, right? Because we're not gonna put our makeup on without any tools, correct? So, all right. My makeup brushes are not clean. I just got rid of this morning, whatever. So, We'll need a foundation brush, okay? We will need a powder brush. We will need a highlighting brush. We will need a blush brush. Let's uh, throw a beauty blender in there, right? Okay. Let's put a couple eyeshadow brushes in there. I don't want that one, I don't like that one as much. I like this one better. Okay, is there anything else we need brush-wise? No, I think these are pretty much the core brushes. I've got six brushes here and a beauty sponge. Okay, let's just for SNGs. I will put that here, SNGs. Let's <laughs> see what the bag looks like now. So we're getting a little bigger. Okay, we got a little more girth to us here, but again, still so flat. Should we add more? Why not? Let's go real fancy. Let's say I want more options in my foundation. I don't want just the Hourglass foundation. I want this nice, big, bulky Too Faced Born This Way one, which is one of my bulkiest foundation packaging. Let's put this in here. Cool. Okay. Let's be real fancy. Uh, let's uh, put some lashes in here. Do we want to wear some falsies while we're out? Are we going, um, I don't know, to the club? Why not? Put some falsies in there. Ooh, do we need some eyeshadow primer? We forgot to put that on before, but now we're going to need it because we're going to go out and we're going to stay out all night. Not happening. Okay. We forgot a face primer. Do we need some uh, Too Faced Hangover Primer? Okay, let's do that. Well, we can't just do all that priming without setting it. Okay, so let's put the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray in here. By the way, my favorite setting spray. What else we got? I think that's pretty, pretty excessive right now, okay? So we're gonna close this up. I still have room, guys, okay? I still have room with all of this stuff going in this bag. Now at this point, this stuff wouldn't fit in this kind of a bag. Um, I'm gonna take this out at the end and put it in the other traditional shapes so we can just see, okay? Um, now, I'm gonna take a couple things out just to show you a big palette, how it would fit in here. So let's take out the Tom Ford quad from the beginning because we're gonna put a different eyeshadow palette in here. This is so dirty. The Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. A lot of people have this one, so I wanted to kind of use it as a reference. It's huge. Let's see how this fits in the bag. Like, look, so this is the Jaclyn Hill palette behind, in front of all the other makeup. So you can see there's still space on the end here, and I can still close it up. Jaclyn Hill palette in here now. Now again, pack the palettes flat first on the bottom. That's a no-brainer, but you know, we're just 
I'm just giving you references here, okay? I want to show you how many actual big palettes you really can fit in here. So let's put the Jaclyn Hill palette in there again. And now we need to contour, right? Contour and highlight. So I really like the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I don't really like Kat Von D, but this palette is really good. Um, we're gonna put that in there. Let's also put in a Z palette. These are popular, a lot of these magnetic palettes. So we're gonna put this in here. Okay. Uh, and then also, here's another Morphe palette. This one is a little newer than the uh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This one's the 25A Copper Spice. This is a beautiful palette, just so you all know. Um, this one's from Ulta. I'll put this in here just to have some options in case Jaclyn's palette doesn't have enough. And let's also put in the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Another wonderful travel palette. It has such wonderful colors, everything you could possibly need. Put that in there. And then let's close that up, okay? Because that's a lot of palettes. But here, I'll show you what that looks like. So look, we still have room, guys. Like, I could probably put... I could put easily two to three more big palettes in here. Okay, so those are all those palettes. So many palettes. Like, okay, let's say you were going on a big vacation and you really wanted to bring an excessive amount of palettes. You could bring the extra large makeup junkie bag, put all your bigger palettes in here, and then maybe bring like um, a large or medium sized other makeup junkie bag to put all the other stuff in. And you would have everything you would need and it would take up a quarter of the space of what you would be able to fit in these kinds of traveling makeup bags. So, all right, my video's already at 21 minutes. So let me show you guys how many things would really fit in a traditional uh, travel bag. So you really can see what we're doing, what we're talking about here. Let's start with your basic kind of, this kind of a bag, like a little pouchy kind of bag. Now this is a decent size, to be completely honest. In comparison, here's the Jaclyn Hill palette and here's that um, pouch. So it's, it's a good size, guys. Obviously, this ain't going in here. So none of my big palettes, none, are gonna fit in here. It's just not gonna happen. So, all right, we'll just do my everyday makeup, right? So what did I say I had? I had my Hourglass Stick Foundation. I had my, my Pressed Powder. I had my Beauty Counter Blush. I had my Beach Bronzer. I had a highlighter. I had a lipstick. I had mascara. And I had my brows. And that's like my everyday face. Okay, so here we go. We're fine. This is the everyday face without the tools. Let's put the tools in too. So I've got my blush brush. I've got my foundation brush. I've got my powder brush, my highlighting brush. So now that's everything I've got in here and it's at max capacity. I probably could fit like some pencils, like thin things. That'll be fine. But I can't fit like another blush. It would already like my um this would already start popping out. Like if I wanted to bring the hourglass thing, it really wouldn't fit. It would be, at, it would be, it would be cutting it close. And then I'm digging through everything. So now here everything is, and it's all shoved in there. So you're wasting time doing a lot of this, looking for your stuff, and it's annoying. So this works for your everyday, very basic face. Let's say I wanted to take it up a notch. Do I want to do my eyeshadow? So I'll put my Tom Ford quad back in here. Okay, now I need eyeshadow brushes, so I'll need two of those. So I'll put those two eyeshadow brushes that I like in here. Then I'll need the eyeliner, so I've got to add the eyeliner and the finishing powder. I've got to add the finishing powder and the concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape. So that was really just adding an eyeshadow, a finishing brush, eyeliners, and a concealer, and I no longer can close this. Like, here we are. That's it. All right, so these little kind of travel bags. So... You know, normally you probably put one side with your toiletries and the other side with your makeup, right? Let's start again with the everyday face. So we've got my foundation, my powder, my blush, bronzer, highlighter. Okay, there we go. We've got those guys in there. I got my mascara, my brows, and my lipstick. Where'd that one go? Here, okay. Let's get the brushes in. All right, so I've got my foundation brush, blush brush, highlight brush, powder brush. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Everything's kind of squished in there. And you'll see, I mean, I could definitely fit more, but it's, it's gonna be tight. All right, so let's up the ante here. We're gonna add my um, eyeshadow quad. 
And then we're gonna need some eyeshadow brushes. So let's add those two that I wanted to use. And then we need the eyeliner, so the liquid and the pencil. Then we need our concealer and we need the finishing powder. Okay, so everything fits still, we're still okay, but it's kind of a mess, like it's hard to get to everything. And thankfully this is clear and it's a new one, so it's not dirty and gross, um, but it is kind of, it's getting really full and it's totally at max width here. If I wanted to take it up a notch and let's say I wanted to add my eyeshadow primer and a face primer, We're full, and I still didn't even put the Jaclyn Hill palette in here if I really wanted some options, or the Shade and Light palette, like, no, it's not gonna work. So, Chill Makeup Setting Spray, that might work, and I wanna say that's probably as much as we're realistically gonna fit. Yeah, it's, it's at max. This is max. You fit the primers, and that's it. You only have that one eyeshadow quad, to use, you only have the one foundation with you. Um, you know, some people like to bring a foundation and a BB cream, that's not gonna be possible with this unless you're not bringing all the other stuff. And then also, where are you putting your tools? You just can't fit it all in there, right? But the width, the width is the killer. Like, it's double the width. So it's kind of annoying. My last thing that I wanted to show you guys, this video is getting long, is I wanna put the biggest stuff I have in the Makeup Junkie bag. So I'm talking not just the Jaclyn Hill palette, not just the Shade and Light palette, not just the Too Faced uh, Born This Way foundation, but I also wanna pack up like the biggest, chunkiest bronzer I own, the biggest, thickest powder I own, and like all the other big, bigger stuff. So here we are, we're starting with our empty bag. Now let's pack this appropriately, we'll start with the palettes on the bottom. So. We have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Then we're gonna do our Kat Von D Shade and Light. We got our Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the bag. We've got a Sail Water Bronze Goddess bronzer in case you didn't wanna use the contour kit, you want something like just a bronzer. That's in the bag. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Big and bulky, doesn't fit in any of my acrylic containers. Going in the bag. A set of lashes because we're extra. We obviously need mascara if we're doing that. We definitely need eyeliners because hello, we're makeup junkies. Um, we definitely need concealers. You know what, sometimes we need two concealers because one's for highlighting and one's for concealing our dark circles. So let's put the two Tarte Shape Tape concealers in here. What else do we need? What am I forgetting? Well, highlighter, hello, of course. We need highlighter. We're gonna use the Ofra one because it's here. We'll use my Beauty Counter Blush because this is Gorge. Did I show you guys this? the prettiest peachy shimmer, love. Um, oh, a primer, we definitely need the primer, Too Faced Hangover Primer, and then to set, we use our setting spray. Oh, we forgot Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And then for lips, let's put a lipstick and a lip gloss in here, okay? That, and, oh, brows. My nuts, my brow go to. My pressed powder. My hourglass finishing powder. We can still go, I still have room. Let's put the tools in, okay. Foundation brush, powder brush, blush brush, highlighter brush, two eyeshadow brushes. All right, that should do it. Let's close this bad boy up. Here we are, in all of our glory. There's a little room left. So if you needed a few more brushes, you totally had space for it, even like another like compact if you wanted to bring like another blush or something. So there you go. This is at max capacity almost with an empty like traditional travel bag. So it's essentially like a little smaller than this, which only can fit maybe half of what we had in here, maybe. Point is, this is amazing. This fits ginormous palettes. This fits all your tools. It saves you time because you can open it up and everything's right in front of you versus having to dig through things because you can't see it. And yeah, they're, they're pricey, but I think you will 
see the value in the time saved and the space saved. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you've never heard of Makeup Junkies, uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this type of video about makeup storage, makeup storage solutions, things like that, give it a thumbs up. If you want to purchase a Makeup Junkie bag, I would really appreciate it if you, if you supported my friend Andrea. Her shop is 3lovesco.com and she does uh, sell on Facebook. So you can search for 3 Loves Co on Facebook. She also has a VIP group where we shop weekly with her live broadcasts and you can shop like right on her feed. So it's really fun. You can find me there often and you'll get to see the latest styles of the Makeup Junkie bags that she gets in. I appreciate you checking out my very long video. Have a good one, bye.